Hi everyone, we're talking about a sausage tub's bones is a steak. So looks like you received here for your birthday, my birthday uh, party last month. Uh, uh, on the cool Triceratops uh, model kit, right? Mm -hmm. And it looks like it's a model kit of the bones or skeleton of a Triceratops. But look at it! It can be that big! Yeah, that shows that the size of a Triceratops compared to the Human. average uh, adult, right? Human sized person, right? Or a little guy. Mm -hmm. So we will open this box up and uh, start assembling this kit. So inside this box, there's another smaller box there, and also uh, a paper. But you know how to do it. Looks like this is maybe the manual to show how to assemble the Triceratops. Bags of pieces or parts of the Triceratops. Oh my gosh, I thought that was telephone. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's three bags inside that box, and each bag has um, parts of the Triceratops skeleton. So Noah's opening one bag right now, and we'll see what's inside of there. So inside bag number one, What do we have? Do you need help to open that? Yeah. Here. We Here's have, one. Whoa, let's take a look at this. Oh my gosh. This is a cool. Under here. I know cool how to Cool skeleton head of the Triceratops. Please help me. So here's the head. Looks pretty awesome. We just accept, uh, connected the lower jaw to the top part. Okay, so we just connected the, the first part here, the spinal bone here to the head. Okay, so here's another piece of the bone and looks like this is uh, part of the pelvic bone. Daddy, Daddy. So we Daddy. just connected the, the femur Daddy. bone to Daddy, the this, pelvic bone. Daddy, I found the... Daddy, this is 20... Okay, so the next piece here looks like it's the tibia, tibia or fibula <laughs> uh, piece of the bone that we will connect They're to... Lying. Um, this piece here and now here's the hind leg part that we will connect what here what is this so here's what we have so far that's uh, the left back leg here and we will make uh, the right side Here's how it looks with uh, both back legs. And here is the tail. Okay, so next step here is we should uh, connect these dorsal ribs to uh, the main spine. So let's see. Is this the right one? Shape. Mm -hmm. well, like all these connect together, so we'll have to assemble the dorsal ribs Daddy, and then we'll connect them to the Daddy, I got it. to the main spinal bone. Daddy, I got it. Okay, so we just uh, assembled the full rib cage for Daddy, Daddy. the Triceratops here. Daddy, this is the front arm. It's mm -hmm. dirty. So next we will uh, need to assemble the front uh, leg of uh, the Triceratops and we need this piece right here which 
looks like the scapula, left scapula. Um, and we will use this to uh, connect the front uh, left uh, it's a dirty leg guys. of the triceratops. Okay, so let's assemble this. Took them all out and let's connect them together. So we're connecting that. Um, uh, let me my, see. Hi guys, um, my daddy's trying to help me mm -hmm. because I'm a tiny slow. Yeah. So we'll connect this piece here. front uh, left leg and we will go ahead and do the uh, next one the front right leg right okay turn off. so here are the two front um, legs of the triceratops daddy this looks like a skeleton eel yeah that's a tail i know but it looks like a skeleton eel we will go ahead and uh, connect these now to the body. I thought this was the a dwarf Triceratops. Tail. I thought this was boiler plates. So here are uh, the two front legs uh, connected there. But it uh, looks like we need to connect this piece to that. it. Um, it's like part of the chest plate uh, of the. Looks like a chest plate of the Daddy, Triceratops. Daddy, that's not the chest. The belly's the chest. Yeah, but looks like this is called a coracoid and sternal plates. So we will have to connect this um, right about here to the triceratops. Oh my! So that's son. how that piece looks. It looks like he's trying to pop his eyeball out. Mm -hmm. Next is uh, this back piece, back part of the vertebrae of the um, main spinal cord. Looks like this is called the what? Sac sacral vertebrae, right? Yeah. Something like that. So you want to try to put this piece in? Yeah. Daddy, why does it not stand enough? Because we don't have the back legs yet. Oh yeah, I forgot. So try to put that in. See if you can do it. I will do it. Breaking. Breaking more. Here, I'll help you. So we just connected the back vertebrae to the main spine. And from there, we can probably connect the, the, legs. the last two back hind legs and then the tail. So we will go ahead and do that. Here we are with the finished Triceratops skeleton. A stick. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? It looks like he needs a battle. Yeah, so. He needs a battle. Uh, it's so pretty nice size. Uh, pretty detailed with the, the markings on here, as you guys can see. On the skull. But some are white. Hind legs uh, are pretty strong and sturdy Daddy, here. Has Daddy. a nice uh, tail too. Daddy, like you, you imagine like you saw like a like a dinosaur, um, like a, a Sauceratops head on the bone, mm -hmm. on the ground, on the desert, and you will pick it up and you will sell it. Well, that will be very heavy, so I don't think we'll be able to pick it up if we were to see that in real life, right? Yeah. Only the head though, but not the body. So, again, there you go. Uh, that's how it looks like, finished. Oh my gosh, uh, so we'll Daddy, to... Daddy! Oh what? my gosh, that's going to be a big head! Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, so we'll have to uh, find a place in your room, maybe on your shelf, that we can display your Triceratops skeleton. I mean, how are we going to find a Triceratops um, um, bone head on, on the desert? That can be huge. Yeah, it will be pretty huge. 
so we can sell it for money. Yeah, maybe. Well, thank you for watching. Say bye, Noah.